Hey everybody, Jason here from Ghostbusters News, back again today on a Friday, which can only mean it is time for another installment of Ghostbusters News Fan Mail Friday. But as the norm, before we get into today's unboxings, if you happen to have anything you would like to send in to the Ghostbusters News headquarters, we got a mailing address. It is down below in this video's description. Now with that said, uh, yeah, we, we, we got some boxes to get to. Well, boxes, envelopes, letters, and this first letter, it comes from Shannon Gesso in Newfoundland. And let's see what Shannon sent in here. Uh, to add to your collection from the Newfoundland Ghostbusters. Well, let's see what the Newfoundland Ghostbusters they sent. Ah, it's been a while since I've received a franchise patch, and this one here, of course, shaped like Newfoundland. Shannon, thank you so much for being a continued supporter of Ghostbusters News and sending this patch in. Now, nothing says loving like something from a padded envelope. And this one comes from Casey in Burbank, California. And inside of here, we got a letter and I, I think a t-shirt? And the letter reads, Hello, Jason and Ghostbusters News. Greetings from Burbank. I hope things are well up north. Enclosed is a t-shirt featuring the logo of the defunct Boss Films. I figure you wouldn't mind sporting a shirt that memorializes the company that helped make Ghostbusters the amazing film that it is. Now, of course, this is not an original Boss Films t-shirt. Uh, this is a recreation, but still so cool. And for those that may not know, Boss Films, they were in charge of the visual effects on the original Ghostbusters movie. And if you yourself would like to grab one of these t-shirts, I'm pretty sure we have this design available in the Ghostbusters News Tee Public store. I'm gonna include a link to that down below in this video's description. Now coming up next here, I've got a letter from Ghostbuster Rebels. And Ghostbusters Rebel, uh, this is not the first time they've sent in fan mail, and from what I hear, they're a loner. They're a rebel. Ah, uh, that was a poor attempt to do a Pee Wee Herman joke. Uh, oh, there, there are some patches, but first, uh, let's take a look at the letter, which reads, Okay, Jason, glad you enjoyed the Ecto Cooler patch series. Here is the final patch of the series, Bring Back Ecto Cooler. Now, before I show you that patch, for those that missed it, here is that series that Ghostbuster Rebel, they're alluding to. It was a whole batch of patches representing the different looks of Ecto Cooler throughout the years. There was the OG style, the 2016, the most recent variation, some made to look like cans, other juice boxes, and again, this one here today that I just received, this is the final in that series. And I think it could be my favorite. It's got the classic No Ghost logo, Moogly, just holding a carton of high C. The stitch work, it is so clean, and I love the simplified rendition, a Slimer there on the juice box. You can see like the little word bubble, the tangerine. He goes on to mention that the patch here, again, it's called Bring Back Ecto Cooler. Uh, it was named off the current campaign from the Twin Port Ghostbusters, because if you don't know the Twin Port Ghostbusters, like all of us, they, they want to bring back Ecto Cooler. Well, they want Coca-Cola to bring back Ecto Cooler. So, Coca-Cola, if you're watching, bring it back. Also included are the team patches of the Ghostbuster Rebels and the South Shore Ghostbusters, both from Illinois. So, up first, the fiery Ghostbuster Rebel patch. Again, love the design, and I really like the fact that Ghostbuster Rebels, they lean into their fandom, their love of Star Wars, in addition to Ghostbusters. And then here, I love the colors, I love that city skyline. We got Moogly just sure of himself, he's pointing, and again, this is the patch from the South Shore Ghostbusters. It's kind of humorous given at the top of this video I mentioned how lately I wasn't being sent like any patches. Hmm. Now next up, we've got a letter from, uh, I don't know, I think it says Lumpkin? It reads, Hello, my name is Sebastian Lumpkin, and my dad is helping me write this letter. Dear Jason, I made these cool looking pictures for you. I hope you like them, and I want to invite you to Redlands Paranormal Club. It would be a lot of fun. Redlands, Redlands, uh, they sent in uh, this, which I believe is a coaster. So I'm going to check these guys out. I suggest you do the same. We got the URL right there. And Sebastian, he totally delivered with that fan art. This looks awesome right here. We've got the Ghostbusters Ecto-1. Certainly a lot of ghost busting going on, and I love the attention to detail. We got the roof rack there. You can see the Ghostbusters logo on the side door. After that, we got this one here of the Ghostbusters on call. I just hope that they're not crossing the streams. And then lastly, we got this one here of some more busting, because you know, busting makes you feel good. So Sebastian, thank you so much for the letter, the invite, and all this awesome art. Now coming out last, I've got this package from fan franchise group, Ghostbusters 407, and you saw the smile on my face when I recognized who this is from because 
every package I've received from Ghostbusters 407. Uh, it's been awesome. All right, now what do we have in here? Uh, oh, oh, okay, that that's pretty awesome. We've got a lost dog poster little flyer there. It says answers to the name Vins. If found, please call. And then we've got the uh, little tickets here that you can kind of tear off for the Ghostbusters phone number. We got another sheet of paper in here. And oh, this is uh, actually really, really cool. Uh, this is for the Ecto-1. So State of New York, certificate of title, body type Hearst, first year sold, 1959. We have the seller's name, which is Tony Smith from Tony's Used Auto Sales. And then we do have some uh, fake Ray Stance signatures throughout. And turning around to the back side here, uh, yeah, it looks like this paper, it did come from 1984, because check out all these stains. The attention to detail here, I mean, is amazing. I love this, and, and I love this. Uh, I, I gotta find a place to put these. I'm telling you, Ghostbusters 407, they always think outside of the box, and uh, this is a pretty prime example of that. Right here, we've got the Ghostbuster Lifetime Permit. And this is made with your vehicle or just maybe a window in mind, and you can just kind of slap it on there and let everybody know that, uh, yeah, you're a Ghostbuster for life. Now right here, I am quite curious about this one. Uh, a lot of the items at Ghostbusters 407 they sell, they come in what they call ghost packs. And this one is called the Nostalgia Edition. I always feel so bad tearing into these because they do such a great job with designing them. Okay, so first up here, I might as well just kind of show off the patch, which is kind of a trend today. Not fan franchise based or anything like that. This is just your classic OG Ghostbusters no ghost patch. Continuing on, we got a bunch of business cards. Uh, this one is pretty awesome. As it is campaigning for Leonard Klotch, of course, who we now know as Mayor Lenny. And then, okay, uh, this is pretty genius. Tully's Tax and Accounting. Call Lewis Tully, 212-555-7665. And of course, you can find him at 55 Central Park West. Oh, and I gotta point this out. On the back of the card, it reads, who does your taxes? This next card, it comes from the Environmental Protection Agency belonging to Walter Peck. Now, much like that Lewis Tully card on the back of Walter Peck's, there is print work as well, but I can't, I, I, I totally can't show it. I could describe it to you maybe. Uh, it's a hand-drawn drawing. It's very crude. It's very rough. Um, but you know in the first Ghostbusters where, where Peter, he alludes to the fact that Walter Peck, he, he may not have a Peter? Peter as in... Um, you know, boing. Yeah, it's a drawing of that. And it reads, ha ha ha, yours truly, Dr. Pete Venkman. And speaking of Venkman, up next, we've got this World of the Psychic card. Got his phone number there. And of course, he's located at WKRR TV studio. Now these two we took a look at in a previous video as it is the standard Ghostbusters card, as well as one for Ray's Occult Books, which still could be my favorite. Well, actually, the Walter Peck card is now my favorite because it's got a drawing of a paint. Moving on to something a little bit more child-friendly, we've got the real Ghostbusters ID card. Now, this I've also featured here in the past, but this is made to look like the old ID card that came with Kenner's Proton Pack. It's got the logo on one side and then on the other. It is a place where you can put your name, your address, and your phone number. Continuing to go through all these goodies, I found this fabricated newspaper clipping. And it even includes a 10% discount on the bottom right for your first intervention. However, I've got some bad news as that offer. It expired September 15th, 1984. A pretty cool ad for anyone out there that has a replica Ghostbusters Proton Pack are these vinyl stickers. It kind of attempts to add to the realism of your toy, of your prop replica. Uh, you'll see there it says that, well, this is a Proton Pack. And it assures whoever's looking at it that it's not a toy. There's an area where you can write the model and license number. And then we also do have the signature of Dr. Egon Spengler. Up next, Ghostbusters 407, they sent the best kind of currency with this resin printed Slimer coin. It's got Slimer on the head side. It reads, who you gonna call 1984? And then turning it around to Tails. What a tell. I mean, look at that Slimer booty. This should be the only form of legal tender going forward. I mean, this is awesome. And then finally here, we've got uh, two more ghost packs. And these are the No Homer patches. There are two different designs here. Uh, we've got one that is more of a standard play on the classic Ghostbusters logo. Moogly there with Homer's face in like the standard red No. 
And then there's this one, which out of the two, it's my favorite. It pretty much swaps out the Ghostbusters logo, well, the no portion, with what looks like a donut. The red is swapped with pink, and then on top, yeah, there are some yellow and blue sprinkles. Now, if you'd like to buy any of those items from Ghostbusters 407 we just featured, be sure to check them out on Instagram or TikTok. We got those links down below in this video's description. And with that said, that's all I've got for you for this one. As always, subscribe. If you'd like to join up with Ghostbusters news, check out our Patreon page. A link to that is down below in this video's description. And we'll see you right back here next time. Your spine, your senses don't deceive you. Call up the guys who are ready to believe you. The numbers five 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 two three six eight. But before you call, let's get something straight. What do you do when the ghost is busted? Is it the source universally trusted? If you got a case of Ghostbusters blues, the cure for sure. Jason's the guy who's doing the heavy lifting Through rumors and gossip he does all of the sifting 